That's right, boys. I know how to wear a hat. A hat. Hat day, baby. Grr! What is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. And today we are doing the end of season NFL tier list. We're, we're breaking all the teams that are tier list. My hat's not one to stay on my head, but yeah, it's going to be interesting. We're going to actually look at all the teams. We're going to talk about where they are on this tier list. And I'm going to leave it for a second because I'm don't. i going to let you guys find out here in a minute what the tiers are because ooh, they're interesting. But again, if you guys do enjoy the content, please hit the like button. Remember to subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And it may, tells me that you guys do want to see more content. So without further ado, let's get into this tier list. I'm going to make some people angry. And here we are back at the tier list. And obviously we have our tiers here. We have the elite teams, which there will only be five. The top five teams in the NFL get into that elite column. The five teams I think are elite. I'm rating them based off me because I believe that I'm right. And then we have the, the contenders, the teams that should be up there contending. The teams that are just there, not in the top, not in the bottom. They're just kind of there. The, the, fix yourself. If you're there, you know you need to fix yourself and then dog butt. If you down there, you. And there are teams in here that I'm going to call dog butt. It's going to happen. Starting off with the Tennessee Titans. They are elite. I'm calling them elite. They have proven how good they are. AJ Green. AJ, I think it's AJ Brown. They're weird. They have two AJ's receiver. Then they have Derrick Henry. And just that team plays really good. They're a number one seed for a reason. They're, I think they're elite. Top team in the NFL. A really good team. Next up, we have the Miami Dolphins. Fix yourself. Right? They're not... All right. Brian Flores firing kind of pissed me off. The only reason that team was good was because of Brian Flores. Right? I He better get another head coaching job. Man, another team looks at him, realizes how good he did there. Give him a good roster. That could be... He could be a Super Bowl coach. Easy. But again, it's not a team that has an elite roster, but it's not horrible. It's just a good enough roster to be like, fix yourself. You're in a rebuilding stage. You're just getting up. You've gotten past the point where you're like, you're so bad that people talk about it. You're just starting to get to the point where they're like, you're coming up. You're coming up. And Dolphins are definitely that team. New York Jets. Dog butt. Your team's bad. Get over it. Zach Wilson looked bad. Your team, it's just bad. There's nothing amazing about your team, dude. Like, oh, dog butt, you guys need to fix yourselves. You ain't got nothing going for you right now. I'm hoping here in like a year or two, I can start even seeing you in there. Uh, even just having you in there would be so much better. The Bengals are elite. Don't at me. They are an elite team. I say they are one of the top five teams in the nation. They are playing out of their mind. One of the best corners in the league in Jadobia Wuzie. They have one of the top receivers in Jamar Chase. Joe Burrow, that elite quarterback. Pretty good offensive line. Could use a little bit of help, but not, not terrible. Good offensive line. Good D-line. Biggest thing, linebacker core could use a bit of help, but still, I think they're amazing. Just, you give them an elite linebacker, dang, that team would be unbeatable, but elite. I'm going to say something controversial. The Browns are just there. Baker hasn't looked amazing. Their O-line hasn't looked amazing. They they lost Odell, their best wide receiver. They don't got really any tight end. Just, it's, it's a, a their team. They're there. They're not so bad that you're talking about it, them getting a top tier pick. They're not so good. They're hitting playoff runs. It's just, they're there. Jacksonville Jaguars, dog butt. You have LaVista Chenault, one of my favorite players, former CU player. I think he could go. Okay, LaVista, I'm sorry. I think he could go places. You got Trevor Lawrence. You got Travis Etienne. You got James Robinson on that offense. That defense, you got Miles Jack. You got Josh Allen. You need to add more to it. I'm hoping if we go by what my... No, this is the video for... Oh, this is the last in line. Okay. Yes, so as you saw in yesterday's video, 
I think they should 100% take an offensive tackle, help stir up that offense instantly. Go edge rusher, go defense later, but um, Detroit Lions are dog butt, dog butt, dog butt, dog butt, the butt of a dog. They're garbage. They ain't got nothing going for them. And I mean that seriously. None of the players on that team have proved they're elite at all. No matter if they don't have the first overall pick, the games where they play good, each player plays okay. None of them show off ever. Dog butt. They're dog butt. Just get something. I still think that Aiden Hutchinson won't go to them. I don't remember the other kid's name, but that's 100% who should go to that team. Get them an edge rusher. Mm. The Vikings are there. Just there. Cool, I thought I screwed up already, but I know what teams I was going to put in. Okay. They're just there. They're not really... They have a good roster. They've just not proved anything. I think with this new coach, they could jump easily to contenders. Very easily. They are teetering into there. I'm just putting them down in there because they have not proved themselves yet. The Buccaneers are elite. They're late Tom Brady. Just, God, if they get it, once they get another receiver to replace the giant puke bag that was Antonio Brown that team will go back to being just as elite as they were I don't think they're the number one team anymore I think they're like number I'd give them number four number five number three actually no number two because we all know who one and one and three are we know who one and three are but this is a hundred percent elite team they they don't have many weaknesses receiver maybe Maybe safety, but that's about it. You could, and both those positions aren't bad. You can just upgrade them slightly. San Francisco 49ers. It's, mm, contenders. They've they've proved themselves as contenders. They've proved themselves that they're good. I hate saying that, but I think they're contenders, which this rating is going to. 100% make me look like a biased piece of garbage, but I hate the Niners, and I still have to put them in contender, so I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, but uh, yeah, I think Trey Lance is their quarterback of the future. I'm going to have to play him for years. Nick Bosa constantly looks out of his mind. Fred Warner's still playing really good. George Kittle is going great. Get him a wide receiver, Trey Lance, and that team could go places. The Falcons, they are not dog, but I think they're just in fix yourself because I don't think they're one of the worst. There are a couple other teams I think are lower than them that I think are 100% in dog, but they're in fix yourself. You gotta, you need you to start fixing quarterback uh, here soon. Maybe not next year, but here soon. The offense is getting a little, eh, you have some elite players. Uh, you need to fix that defense. You need to add some corner and just defensive back depth. I think your D-line's fine, but I think you're in fix yourself. You got some big holes. Fill them up. Stop pushing yourself back up into contender. The Ravens are contenders. Not elite. Not elite. They didn't prove that this year. I think they have a stacked roster. One of the best rosters in the league. But this last year, due to injuries and everything, they didn't prove it. And until they actually do, I don't know if I can put them in anything above contenders. I do think they're contenders. They should be contending for that title. Even with Tyler Huntley. God. Tyler Huntley is a good backup for Lamar Jackson, playing pretty decently. Not elite, not great, just decently. That team could go on a tear next year. The Chicago Bears. Fix yourself. You were a dog butt for me last year. You pushed yourself up slightly. You proved yourself. Allen Robinson's great. I think your new quarterback. By the way, I'm so sorry if I don't know players' names. Because, God, I'm an idiot. I say Justin Fields is okay. He's uh, he's He played okay. He didn't prove anything amazing. He didn't show he's horrible. I think you're going to fix yourself. Add some more pieces to your defense. Build up your offensive line. Maybe get yourself another re weapon. Maybe even running back. I know people like David Montgomery, but he's he needs a double running back system. He needs someone else. He can't take it all. Dallas Cowboys contenders. I hate that. I hate that. Oh, that one might hurt more than the Niners. 
It doesn't hurt as much as one I'm going to have to talk about later, but we'll see that. Right, they're contenders. Their team looks great. I don't think they're top five yet. I actually think they are the number six team. Like, if you were to talk about any of these teams, I think they're easily number six. Uh, stacked roster, Dak looks pretty good, Zeke looks pretty good, but they have had some games where they look really bad, which drops them out of top five for me. Uh, yeah, they're contenders. They should be up in the playoffs every year, uh, getting themselves a good safety, a <laughs> fixing the fucking issue with their corner. I don't remember his name, and I don't want to put in the effort to look him up. He's the interception machine. But also, he lets up the most yards. Like, he's either going to pick the ball off or they're going to, like, get a bunch of yards. So it's like, Ugh. So, yeah, I think they're going to be contenders for years. Texas are dog butt. The dog butt. Davis Mills is, eh. Just, it's a dog butt team. They're bad. They ain't got nothing going for them. Just, just start getting rid of cap. Bringing in players. Just start rebuilding. Just start it up. Rebuild time. Hit the rebuild alarm. Woo, woo, woo. Rebuild that team. Boy, they need it. I'm, I can't even compliment anything about that team. Just dog butt. The Colts are contenders. Jonathan Taylor looks like the newest incarnation of God. And boy, if Carson Wentz can not fumble the ball, can get rid of those takeaway turnovers. <laughs> if he can fix his turnover problems just even a bit. That team is going to be good next year. God. Replace T.Y. Hilton with a good receiver. And that team will be good. Oof. Young, old, just someone. Just mm, that team. That team could go on a tear. Could go on to try to win their division. Obviously, they're fighting the Titans. That's going to be a battle. The L.A. Rams are elite. And I know I hate saying that. Oh, I fucked up my rankings. No, they're 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 contender. Now I gotta change my ratings because there's two teams I need up there, but I need them up there. Who was I saying was five? Alright, I'm changing it up. I do think the Bengals have an elite team, but I just think their team is above them. So Cowboys are actually my seven. They're my six. Cause the Rams are up there. God. I think the Titans and the Bengals can be switched. But I won't due to the fact that the Titans have proved themselves even without Derrick Henry. Without Jamar Chase, I don't know if the Bengals would be where they're at. So they need another year to get themselves better. LA Rams just stacked. Stacked. Vaughn Miller, Odo Beckham Jr. Just those two names. Can you add in Dominic and Sue? You add Matt Stafford. Just, it's such a good team. They play really well. God, my Cardinals are going to have to play them here for the playoffs. Hopefully we can upset them, but it's going to be hard. I'm going to give Chargers the their treatment. Because I think the Char Chargers at this point are just there. They haven't proved themselves as elite. They lost to the Raiders in a game they should have won. Anthony Lynn... Yeah, they really screwed them. Why were they in that point in the first place? They should have been able to get themselves out of it. I think they're just a their team. Stuck in the middle. Not really up or down. Just there. The Raiders are contenders, sadly. At AFC West, they fit into four categories. Four separate categories. You definitely know how that division is going to go every year. Until something changes big, but... Mm. Yeah, I think th their contenders, they look really good. Derek Carr played out of his mind. He, had, he was one of the nine, I think, nine quarterbacks that were over one or 4,000 yards. 4,000 yards. Oh, my God. Just, yeah, elite team. Even though they've had some issues, they're all a bunch of scumbags, and that's the worst thing. I said that I was going to have issues putting the Niners up there. The Raiders hurt my soul. But, yeah, they're contenders. Washington football team, uh, can I say, they have enough on defense for me to put you in and just fix yourself. Chase Young, Jonathan Allen, they've got on that offense, like, uh, their elite wide receiver who I can't remember the name. God, why can't I remember players' names? 
But they have that wide receiver. They've got a lot of things on going for that team. And honestly, I think it's going to be a really good team. Can't wait to see them play. See where they can go with it. The Chiefs are up there. They are. I'm going to give them the number two. You have the number. Actually, number two, number three, number four, number five. Number one is coming up. I think they're amazing. They're great. I oh, fuck. They're so loaded. Oh, they could come back and win the Super Bowl again, which is d disappointing. They didn't beat the Titans. It's really the number one spot. So, that could be interesting. Titans could dethrone them, but I, Casey's elite. What are you going to say? Saints, you're in there because you guys pulled off something crazy with a bad roster. I think you're just there. You're there. You're kind of just sitting, chilling like, hey, we're here. What are we going to do? Just chilling, you know? Not not really anything. Get yourself a new quarterback. I think that team could start going somewhere. Giants are dog butt. Dog butt. People say the Lions are the worst team. The Jaguars are the second. Giant, Giants are 100% the third worst team in the NFL. And I don't care what people say. They are bad. God, they're gonna. They need both those first round picks. If they trade them for anything less than Aaron frickin' Rodgers, they're dumb. Oh my God, Giants are bad. They ain't got nothing. I think they might go with Daniel Jones one more year, which I'm fine with. I said they would too, but God, you're bad, bad. It's bad. Philadelphia Eagles, you're just there. You're another team that's just kind of there. Not up, not down, not left, not right. Just there. Like, you're in a rebuild. But at the same time, the rebuild's going faster than you thought. You've ended up in a there column. Along with the Steelers. You're both, like, similar teams. are like, half rebuild, half not. Just kind of stuck in a middle point that no other team's there. I can guarantee you no other team is in the there column because they're just, like, half rebuilding, half not. Like, ugh. Both you guys are just stuck in the middle. The Broncos are fix yourself. As you see, as I was saying, the West, they fit in these top four columns. And the Broncos at the bottom, fix yourself. You got some playmakers. Jerry Judy, Cortland Sutton, Bradley Chubb, Justin Simmons, Patrick Sertain. Drew Locke's not the answer. And I think if they can get themselves a quarterback, even if you need to use Drew Locke for a couple games at the beginning of the season, I think, yeah, that could be great. Also, Denver game in, in Arizona this year. I'm going to that game. I might vlog a bit of it of me going, you know, getting ready for the Cardinals game, meeting up with some friends, seeing if I can get some other people to go with me. But, oh, yeah, bro, just fix yourself. You need to figure your stuff out. Green Bay is the number one team in the NFL. Do not at me. God, they are good. Devontae Adams, Aaron Rodgers, in that double running back system is just so good. Aaron Jones in the backfield. I don't remember the other guy's name, but God, I think his name, his last name is Dylan. But oh, they're so good. And defensively, they don't really have studs. They just have great players across the board. No one stud. They're just great. None of them are name worthy because they don't show out. But that's because they're all so good. I Yeah, that defense just, ooh, really good. Offense amazing. Green Bay is the number one team in the NFL. Panthers, fix yourself. You got some playmakers. You got some ability to go. You don't have a quarterback position. You are one of the, the like, th I think, if you were to go back, uh, if you were to go off of quarterback position, you have the third worst. No, you have the second worst. Davis Mills is better than what you got. You, you need to fix it. You need quarterback is 100% what you take in the first round. Don't even think tackle. Take tackle later in the draft. Grab yourself your quarterback. God, your offensive line isn't as bad as your quarterback. My Arizona Cardinals, you're a Sam, Sam Bias, but they are contenders. They are not elite. They are probably like the eighth or ninth team in the NFL. Yeah, I give them number eight, number nine behind them. But if you look at this, boom, 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 it's like, wow, the AFC West, or NFC West, we have one more team to go, but. We do have a lot of the top tier teams. I still say the NFC West is the best division in the NFL. Flat out. Flat out. Oh.
I'm sorry, I'm playing with something out of the hand because I think I have ADHD. But right, the Cardinals, we have a great team. With Rondale Moore, Christian Kirk, DeAndre Hopkins being thrown through by Kyler Murray with a defense led by Byron Murphy Jr. Buda Baker. Two young stud linebackers. In a D line with one of the best in the league that I can't remember the name of, and now I feel like a piece of garbage. Ah, but right, it's just I think we're contenders. I think we should be hitting playoff runs every year. I think we should make a run in the next four years. We should have a run of this. We should win a Super Bowl in four years. Within the next four years, absolutely. With the team we have, get ourselves a corner in the draft. Just. Mm. I think the Bills are also contenders. I know you're saying that's a lot of contenders. Yeah. But that's one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen teams that should make the playoffs. In a 14 team playoffs, leaving the room for the theirs to try to make their way up. That's basically saying this is what the playoffs should look like every year. I think. I think I might have gone heavy on like AFC or NFC. I don't know. I guess I'll count it once I'm done ranking everything. But right, I think they're great. Josh Allen looks great. That whole team looks great. What 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 can I say? They're kind of like a like a Bengals team where they have a great quarterback. The Bengals even have Joe Mixon. I didn't even bring that up. God dang! That's what they have up on the Bills. But yeah, the Bills should be contenders every year, and I think they're great. Uh, Seahawks are in fix yourself territory. The AFC the NFC mess might be have a lot of teams up here. But that means one of their teams are going to be way down here. And they're in fix itself. Probably losing Russ. you got to start retooling that team. I agree with Pete Carroll. Don't rebuild. you got some weapons. DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett together are amazing. Chris Carson on that offense, fantastic. Gets yourself a quarterback. Maybe bring in a nice tight end. That offense is great. You go to the defense, you start adding pieces next to Bobby Wagner. And the defense will be fixed. That team will be up here knocking one of us down. And the Patriots are just there. They're kind of just there, you know. Not in, out, left, right. They they made the playoffs this year looking decent, but I think that's all Bill Belichick. I think the, the, the team is here. Bill Belichick's coaching just overall is up here. It's forcing them to like the there column. They're just kind of there. I'll be right back. Let me make sure. I, let me count how many of each division I have. So, yeah, guys, we have seven AFC teams and six NFC teams, which means the big teams you should look at to try to hit playoffs, the Vikings, the Saints, the Eagles, those three teams, you should 100%. Those three should be fighting for that final wild card spot every year. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment what you guys think about the ratings. There's some teams that you think should go up and down. But until next time... I will see you guys again on Tuesday. Buh-buh, buh-buh, buh-buh.